Laugh out loud, love a lot, and shop for what makes you happy. Hey guys, Mandy here, and today I'm going to show you how I make my own laundry detergent. Um, for all the ingredients, it is uh, around $30, and the supply will last us about a year. So these are the ingredients that I use in my homemade laundry detergent. Um, we have some uh, washing soda, some baking soda, some borax, that's optional if that makes you uncomfortable to use that. Um, OxyClean, any kind of um, like bar laundry soap. And then I use Purex crystals. You could also use the Sensi um, washer whiffs or anything like that, or you can forego that step altogether. It's basically just to make it smell, you know, your favorite scent. So basically all you're gonna do is take all of the like dry ingredients and dump them into a container. And then for the bar soap, you're just gonna grate it like with a cheese grater. And that's all I use is a cheese grater. Um, and dump that in as well, mix it up and you're good to go. Okay, so I went ahead and shredded up the bar soap, and now it looks like cheese because it's actually yellow, so that's kind of funny. Um, I also went ahead and opened all the packages, so now it's like I have my own cooking show with everything perfectly portioned out for me. But really, literally, all you do is dump everything in the container. It is that easy. The shredding is the hardest part, and it's not really that hard because it's very soft. Um, the bar soap is very soft. So we're just going to dump all this in, mix it around by hand. Okay, so I went ahead and I mixed all of the ingredients together. Tips for using this soap. You only need one to two tablespoons per load. Did you catch that? One to two tablespoons per load. So if I have a small or medium load, I'll only use one tablespoon. And if I have a larger load, I will use two tablespoons. Um, and what I will do is I will take, this is the, um, the little measuring cup that came with the OxyClean. Um, and what I'll do is I will take a Sharpie and measure out one tablespoon and I'll just mark it, whoops, mark it on the cup. Um, and then I'll measure out the two tablespoons and mark it on the cup. And that way I don't have to like, I don't know, go find a tablespoon every time. I guess if you have an extra tablespoon that you can leave in your laundry, it's fine. But, um, I just found that that was easier. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet and you would like to, go ahead and click subscribe so you never miss out on the fun. Feel free to share it with your friends so they don't miss out on the fun either. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to leave them below. I will do my best to get back to you. And if you would like to see more like homemade cleaning product type videos um, or how I clean my house kind of videos, give us a thumbs up so I know who wants what and I will talk to you next time. Bye.